This is the ICS 321 screencast on installing Oracle 11G Express Edition in your Oracle Linux uh, VM uh, in VirtualBox. So this is my this is my screen, my, my Oracle Linux um, desktop, and I've started up the Firefox browser. I put in the search term for Oracle 11G Express, and um, you want to click on the downloads link okay click on accept and then click the link for Linux 64 now it's going to make you sign on if you remember your sign on it's your email address and then with the password um, and then once that happens this will start um, downloading and just save it to file click OK and it's going to take a while to, to download. Now in the meantime, I want to go to the, again, going back to the same um, link, um, to go to the installation uh, guide for 11G. You click on Documentation tab, and let's wait for it to load, and just click on this link. And you see an installation guide for Linux. So you're going to use that. All right. Um, still waiting for it to load. Um, now it goes through a whole bunch of um, stuff, but the one you want is install Oracle Linux. And uh, well, first you have to download it, then you're going to run these commands. And now, the downloads will take a while, but it's only about 400 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. But I'm going to pause the recording now and let it finish downloading. Okay, now it has finished downloading. What you need to do is to open up a terminal. This will give you a Unix shell. And I'm going to make the terminal just a little bit smaller so I can also look at the instructions there. All right. Um, this is your um, home directory. Uh, go to the downloads and you can use tab to complete, to autocomplete. And you'll see that whatever you've downloaded is in the downloads folder. Now, first thing to do is to unzip it first. So type unzip Oracle. And you will unzip it. Depending on the machine, this might take a few minutes. It's pretty fast for mine for now. Um, and then you realize that it unzipped into a directory called disk1. So go into disk1, and you see the RPM there. So that's the file you're going to install. At this point, you're ready to follow these instructions here in the, on the website. So that's the first command I'm going to run, rpm minus iph. And again, this will this may take a little bit. Oh, you have to run it with sudo, meaning with root permission. So that's what you need, and you can type in your password. Okay, hang on. So when you created your account, you should have indicated that uh, your account needs to be an administrator for some reason. Um, Libyao wasn't created um, with administrative privileges, so I had to go add an entry in the sudo as well. But you shouldn't need to do that. But at this point, I'm ready to install. Let's see, this should work. Okay, I think I'm going to actually pause the recording since this is going to take a little bit longer than I expected. Um, but let's go take a look at the instructions. Right, so once we do that, then we could, after that we have to run this command to configure. Um, 
and then after that you do want to um, you do want to configure your account to actually um, be able to um, uh, load the environment variables appropriately so uh, we'll have to we'll have to add this line in but for now, let's actually wait for the install to finish. And I think it's finishing. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, now we're ready to, ready to configure. So run that command. I'll go XC configure. Oh, I need to be root again. So type sudo. So most of the defaults are fine, so you can just hit enter. Okay, but you might want to re remember some of these ports. Um, again, remember the password that you set for system. Yes, you want it to start on boot. It seems to take a while as well. So I'm just going to scroll down to the commands that I need. Uh, we're configuring the environment variables here. And so this is the command. Okay, now um, it has successfully configured Oracle, um, and I believe Oracle has started. Um, in any case, let's go uh, configure the environment variables. So PWD, I'm sorry, PWD gives you a print working directory. You want to go back to your home directory, and there's a file called. Um, bash profile that uh, we would like to modify. I'm using VI as my editor um, and maybe I should, let me see if do they have another editor that's a bit more friendly for you guys um, dot bash rc bash profile uh, okay this let's see, okay Okay, so you have to you have to bear with the uh, VIM then. So VIM has two modes. Um, you are now in command mode. I'll say scroll to the end. I'm maybe here, and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to type that same. So you 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 hit you hit command I to go into insert mode. You see the insert now. You can start typing. 
uh, type dot slash u01 app oracle product 11.2.0 slash xe slash bin slash oracle underscore emp dot sh. Okay. Hit escape to go back to command world. Type colon wq for right and quit. And that should be good. Uh, at this point, you do just want to run that command once. So, um, do actually run. I mean, in future, you won't need to run this because it will run automatically when you start up. But for now, you're going to run it once to get the environment set up. Okay. Uh, now, there's a couple more steps you need to go, and if you actually go to the the install page for the class, and let me just go there right now. Some uh, we have some instructions here on the experiences. This uh, now you should follow the instruction here and and test that your installation works. Right, you log in first with um, administrator privilege. Uh, SQL plus should work if you executed the previous command successfully. Remember you entered a password for system, so you're going to enter that here. Okay. Now you're going to create a database user, and I'm just going to create one using my name. I'm just going to use a default password, which is ICS321. Okay. Now I'm going to give myself some privileges. Uh, just to grant connect resource to Lithia. Okay, now exit. And after this, I can log into SQL Plus um, with my own credentials, which I just created. Right? So you log in with my credentials, and we're in. Now you can actually create some tables, insert some data into it, and uh, and actually play with the database if you will. And query the data. Oops. So I created a table. I'm going to insert some values. Now, if I actually do a query from that table, I get something. Okay, so this is all you need for installing um, the Oracle database, and now you're ready to do um, whatever SQL exercises we have in class. Thank you.